as as the you know as we can infer from the uh, the title of the paper, like it's a review of like uh, archival audio research. It was published in like 2014. So literally, like the paper, like like Jabba's paper, uh, which her he she presented like it like the deal with like all the history of the archival style like uh, auditing research so, and it's a uh, 52 pages it's really really, really long uh, but like today i just want to share like the big picture or like the map like the how you know organized nicely organized all the like the history of literature and and let me share some like intuition with you today so what is the auditing auditing is like the going over of like the some kind of like the assurance of like credibility of like the accounting information like we have like the thank you which is like quarterly report from the public traded company and we have a 10k it's an annual report and an auditing company like the audit that like the accounting information whether that is like a material or not so so far like i kind of like auditing research like empirically addresses like the this kind of like auditing related question, uh, predominantly using the uh, economic based method, like econometrics, like most of the time using the fixed impact, like the model. Um, and like the, the unique thing about like this paper is I think they kind of like organized that their, uh, their, their uh, like the audit, audit research primarily related with audit quality, which is like the, uh, expertise of like the abyss area um and they give like they interpret like the, the audit quality in terms of the economic based framework and to measure like the audit quality uh in the literature we have like diverse uh proxies but like the, all the proxies has some pros and cons there's no perfect measure of proxies because of a kind of like a measurement error because audit quality is kind of hard to measure right conceptually like the Nicholas says so if you understand like the, this picture, I think you understand like most really big picture of this paper. So, so all the quality in, we have in the center and uh, this all the quality is like the influenced by the, the demand side and supply side and regulatory intervention side, which is kind of a common like framework in economics, right? Everything is determined by demand and supply and economic one-on-one. I, I'm pretty sure you guys learn from it from the undergrad studies and and what is the climate demand? Like let's say we have like the Tesla, I'm running the Tesla, right? And to publicly trade it uh, by the act and SEC, you have to get like some auditing assurance from the supply of, of auditor such as like big four, or we have like a smaller uh, auditing company here and in Climate demand side, we have some like incentives, right? Uh, if I get like the auditing service from the, let's say KPMG and there's the cost, right? We have like agency cost. We uh, hire agent, the KPMG and we have to pay for it. Uh, but, but given the cost that we pay, we want to maximize the audit quality that we can get. And there's like some regulation, it's, regulation still and it directly affect the audit quality and we have like a competencies we have the audit committee in tesla or like we have like internal audit functions in tesla too like which is unique to the each company so so each company has like different kind of like the competency and incentives and each unique characteristic affected the audit quality and we have like supply side right we have the big four like a KPMG, PWC, but like, uh, except that, like we have a very small uh, auditing uh, companies too. Uh, we have like the, uh, so for the incentive of auditor supply, we have like a rep reputation, right? Big Four has like a big, big reputation to provide like a high quality of like auditing service or like we have a relegation. Like if you make a, some mistake, uh, in your auditing service, you got sued. You have to take responsibilities, a lot of costly and some regulation uh, made by the SEC um, and some competency, right? Each uh, big four company or like other auditing company has their some like the know-how 
or some kind of skill set or some people, a human resource who are producing a uh, high quality of like auditing. And then those two big side of like demand and supply is affected by regula regulatory uh, intervention uh, as like Professor Miklos says, the PCAOB inspection, we have it. Uh, so PCAOB is a nonprofit organization uh, made by the SOX, SOX 2002. You know, we have like big scandal, Ellen scandal, and then like that caused some like the regulation stuff intervene. We established the, uh, the law and then we made some organization and they're like, you know, they're doing some like inspection or like affect to the like supply side of auditor. And then they do some audit committee provision to the demand side of the, uh, the company. So what's the audit quality? Like quality is kind of like conceptual stuff. It's hard to measure, right? So, but so far, like people just think it like, like dichotomy. Oh, it's just like auditing, audit, audit, auditing the financial information was bad. Auditing was good or bad. But as the Francis paper like to argue and in this paper too, uh, the, the researcher like the address that and emphasize that we need to think it as a like continuum, like all the quality is getting bad, better or getting worse, like some kind of like continuous variable. We need to think it as like continuous variable, not like something was failed or made a success. And, and as, 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 Audit quality, is, as we saw before, this determined by demand side and supply side, obviously, and then also some incentives on competence of like each side, and also regulatory uh, intervention play a crucial role of of course. And so, so to broader uh, def definition, like they uh, de define as like high audit quality as greater assurance that the financial statements faithfully reflect the firm's underlying economics and condition on its financial reporting system and innate characteristics. Sorry. And so to measure uh, audit quality, so we have like a bunch of like proxies, right? Uh, so first, uh, let me give you like brief like idea of like output-based audit quality measure. We have like material misstatement, uh, which uh, Abby used in, in her paper, right? Uh, we have like two types of restatement. Uh, misstatement. One is like a restatement is just correcting the error, you know, after fi uh, finishing their auditing things. And um, after like the one month, like company can uh, correct the error of oh, that audit, audit the, the financial information or like the auditing service that we did, we had like some errors, like acknowledging some errors. And, and we have like AEERS uh, by the SEC. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, informing um, the audit or financial information of that company has like a, a severely wrong. Um, is, is, is usually utilized in like the fraud uh, uh, literature. And then we have like auditor communication. Uh, we can easily think of like just, just going concern opinion in, in like 10K. And then uh, we, we have another proxies, uh, financial re reporting quality characteristic, just honest quality. And in the literature, they think that high quality auditing constraints opportunity honest management. And then we can use honest quality as the pro one of the proxies. So this is just like replica uh, demonstration uh, between the, the audit quality and earnings quality. Well, uh, as we can see in the graph, there's like a positive uh, relationship, linear relationship between them. And then we have like perception-based measure of audit quality. We have the market, re market reaction earnings response co coefficient. And then we can use like cost of capital or some, sometimes like change in market and like PCAOB inception is perception based about how we perceive the, you know, the audit quality. Um, and we have another measure, which is called like input measure auditor. Uh, we can use like auditor characteristics such as like auditor side, whether they are big, big four or not, or like we, we, we could have like the auditor client and contract feature uh, like 
good example is audit fee, like how audit fee was uh, expensive or not. We can use it as a proxy of like audit quality. So we have a lot of like, like proxies to measure audit quality, then which one was the best? Like the answer is always, yeah, each measure has the pros and cons and the paper deal with like in specific. And I, I urge you to, I urge you to you uh, read the paper in uh, and, and get the detail. Right now, I just want to give you some just big picture here. And, and, and the author urges you research to evaluate like and, and carefully articulate the the pros of the cons of each proxy. So as a researcher, us, we should use uh, appropriately like the which proxies like, you know, more uh, make appropriate like the reserve for your research question. So, but like in 2014, like in the literature, there's lack of discussions. So this is like typical um, audit quality uh, model, like we saw in Abyss, you know, uh, Abyss like a paper, like here, like we have like depend on variable audit quality. Uh, in here, like we can use a bunch of like the proxies that we saw before. Uh, and and in Abyss paper, like it was, what was, it was what, like it was MAR, right? And then we, we, we wanna see the effect, like how the treatment variable that we are interested in, uh, how like the marginal effect of effect to the dependent variable. And most of the time in archival star auditing quality research, just use the fixed impact model with like a bunch of a controls variable. Um, here, like the going concern opinions and, and this discretional accrual and big for audit fee. And it shows like specific uh, control variable that you need to include or that we have include in the literature and with the papers. So if you are interested in like, like each, some area, you need to see um, in detail and find the uh, papers to get like the in-depth understanding of like each area. So the paper overall, like give you a really detailed, it's like 52 pages. So very, very detailed uh, literature review and some thought, thought of like the author to the, you know, whole audit, uh, audit quality literature. So it deals with like big, in the big picture of like demand side and supply side, regulator size. And for in the regulator side, the big part of it is like a socks, you know, uh, well, we have like the, in the socks, like the, how like the overall effect of socks to the odd, uh, quality of the audit. And we have like some internal control part too. So if you are interested in, I really want you to, you know, look at in detail too. So the conclusion is, so uh, in, in last like the 15 years, uh, we, we have like written is uh, profound changes, you know, sometimes demand, sometimes supply size, sometimes regulatory size. But like primarily, uh, we have focused on the to how uh, how audit quality is affected by the some kind of like the interest of like treatment variable. So, uh, so, so I I just want to remember that like uh, we, um, so, yeah, yeah. So okay, demand side, we have like the um, so. So I want you to remember, we have a primarily in the archivist style literature, we have saw that uh, how audit quality and how to measure audit quality using the bunch of like the proxies. And then we saw the uh, demand side, supply regulatory side, and each side we have like competency of competencies and then incentives and uh, considering like the two component of like the demand side, the supply side. If you look at the literature, I think it's going to give you like a better understanding. And one last thing that author emphasized here is that uh, just try to connect the each like the side, like the, try to connect the from the demand side, the supply side, and sometimes the incentives with the competency. So those kind of like the general view, uh, try to correlate the, uh, different like area is going to uh, proliterate the uh, audit quality literature. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.